So Boris Johnson has in the last few hours announced that um, the 15th of October is our is our deadline um, and um, he doesn't think it's very likely uh, that we'll get a, an opportunity after that and of course um, that would then mean we're heading heading towards a no deal. It's it's very difficult at the moment to see how the gridlock and the deadlock can actually be broken on the fishing sector, for example. This is our rights to fish in our own waters. Um, but it's also very difficult, given what's been in the news this morning about, um, about um, the new legislation that's going through the UK Parliament. It's very difficult to see that that is something that's going to be anything other than a red rag to a bull to negotiators in Brussels. So um, it's going to be really, really tough. And the government is now briefing that actually no deal might not be such a bad thing after all. It's hard to tell whether that is a game of bluff. And we've seen all along a very hardline approach from the UK government trying to, to come up with an agreement. But how damaging would it be to, to leave without having a trade arrangement with Europe? So if you look at UK's trade, it's not that much higher than it was back in back in 2008. In fact, it's in value terms, it's slightly lower. Um, and if you also look as a, at the point I made earlier about, about regional supply chains, Europe has been increasing its intra-regional trade exclusive of the UK for the last four years. So we've seen an annualised growth in intra-regional trade in the key supply chains that the UK operates in. Um, and of of nearly of nearly eight percent, so that's an incredibly high number. It's going to be very difficult for the UK to keep those types of supply chains running. You also have to think about um, the effects for the UK of independent trade policy. US strategy, as is is well known now, is increasingly coercive in the trade space and um, tends to exclude one of the major export markets that we've been trying to grow since Brexit, which is China. So we're in a very difficult position. It's very difficult to see um, that this can produce a, a, an immediate or positive outcome. But I think what the government is actually hoping at the moment is that because it'll be a blank page, we can then make up our own rules.